Hi everyone, and welcome to Resolve with Rob. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to set up your Dell XPS for maximum performance by enabling the built-in NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 graphics card. A lot of you, including myself, probably automatically assumed that the best processor would be selected from the factory. However, for an unknown reason, I realized it was set to auto-select, which will randomly decide whether to switch between the NVIDIA graphics card or the native Intel processor. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to resolve this issue. So let's begin. First, you want to right-click anywhere on your home screen and select NVIDIA Control Panel. Once this screen pops up, you'll want to expand 3D Settings, which will present you with three sections. The first section lets you adjust the image settings based on whether you'd like to emphasize quality or performance. If you choose the quality setting, your image sharpness and smoothness will be much greater than if you were to select performance, which although increases your frame rate and processor speed, it can leave your images a lot less sharp and less pleasing to the eye. So personally, I set this to balanced for a nice middle ground between the two. The second section, as it says, lets you manage your 3D settings. And this is where from factory, it was set to auto select for me. Under the global settings tab, you'll see a drop down menu where you can select your preferred graphics processor. If yours is selected as either auto select or integrated graphics, you'll want to select the high performance NVIDIA processor instead. On the tab next to global settings, you'll see program settings. And this is basically giving you added functionality in terms of letting you select which processor to use for specific programs to make sure you get the best performance while using them. As you can see in my example, I've selected HitFilm Express, which I use quite a lot. And then underneath, I selected the NVIDIA processor to make sure it runs all the time when using that particular software. This is a step you don't need to do, but it's there if you want that added level of custom setup. Once you're happy with your own custom setup, simply press the apply button on the bottom right of the window. For the last and final step, click on the third section to set the physics processor configuration under select a physics processor. For me, it was again set to auto select, but if you select a drop down menu, you'll be able to choose between the NVIDIA GeForce processor or the standard CPU. So make sure to select the GeForce option. Now, click apply again in the bottom corner and wait for the changes to be applied. And that's you all set up. Now your Dell XPS should be set up to give you better performance when either gaming or video editing, making sure you use the best graphics processor available to you. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and if it helped you out, I'd really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, so that you'll get to see all of my new content and help you with any other problems you may have. Until the next time, have a great day, and thanks for watching.